So to my right in the green we have the Keel Squirrels. And over on the left we have the Sheffield Steel Fins in first match of today's tournament. So uh, for beginners who are new to new spectating the sport, the white headbands are the chasers, the black headbands are the beaters, and the green headband is the keeper, who is effectively like a special chaser. Um, so we have a quick keel squirrels again on the right in the green against the uh, second team of Leeds, sorry, Sheffield, scratch that, steel pins. Cut. Rooms are down. <laughs> the crowd has gathered. Oh shit, here we go. I mean, uh, I didn't stop. Up. They're running for the ball. They're running. Oh. And the quaffle. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a scrab for the quaffle. Uh, oh, and he's so, beat. A nice he's, beat he's, by the keel oh. side there. Okay, it looks All like. Right. Okay, so keel are in uh, beat uh, control. They have both oh, of the bludges. They both, oh, they're going So they've for got it. the pressure. And uh, keel are in control of quaffle too. I'm going to try and zoom in a little here. Wow, I like zoom. Oh, and he's making a run. The beaters are breaking holes in for them. Oh, he's making oh, a run he's... for the hoops. He's making... Oh, and he's beat! He's no, he's beat. not. He's not. He's not missed, no. I think. But they've got the ball back. And I think that's good. Oh. That is on goal. Scored by this uh, chaser there. Kills. Score the first hit. Go Squirrels. 10-0. Revenge. Okay, now we're going So oh. say that again. <laughs> the Steel Fins are going back in for revenge. They look determined. The beaters are going in for it. Uh, and beaters. he's in... Bludge control is by way of steel fins, and was that good? That was good. See, he dropped the ball back, which is really good. You're supposed to do that. So it looks like 10 all. Oh, it's, such a, it's so intense here. The atmosphere, the environment. You can taste the uh, excitement. <laughs> or maybe it's just the hot chocolate from breakfast. <laughs> it's sweet, whatever it is. Oh, oh, there's no bludgers. Oh, have no bludgers. that's a quick... Oh, there's They're a going high in. tackle, going maybe. In. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Kills on the ball. Kills balls back. Trolls. Oh, Trolls there's a troll in the Trump dungeon. In. Great strike. That was a nice little maneuver there. Kills. So uh, a bit of a terminology. A troll is when a chaser runs behind the backside of the hoops. So it's a troll in the dungeon. I just thought you ought to know. <laughs> and the steel fins are going back in for a revenge shot. Oh, and they got beat. beat. They got beat. Oh, but that means the bludge control is lost. Oh, oh that's down. a strong and tackle. The oh, they're going back into the quaffle. They're beat. They're beat. It's a bit of a bloodbath. Oh, damn. They're all running back. So that was a failed attack by the uh, steel, steel fins. fins. So the score stands at 2010 to the Keel Squirrels, and they're back in possession of the quaffle. Let's see if they can make good of his drive. Lining up, bludge control is with the squirrels as well, so they can really uh, go and press the attack now. What I don't understand is why they're slow. Ball they're trying to draw them out. They want to. They want to force them to do main. Yeah. Man. They're trying to oh, draw them he's out. losing his footing there. They're oh, but it's a good out. tackle. Oh. Oh, she probably needs some um, beater support, oh, yeah. but it's not. Oh, 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 oh what oh, a turn oh, of events! Oh, what a hero! Oh. The Steel Fins stealing the way back into this game with that uh, rip of the possession there. That was quite remarkable. I've never seen anything like it. This is the first game of Quidditch I've ever spectated, but that's irrelevant, <laughs> I think. I think that was quite a special moment. Well done, that man. I'm assuming gender, but we we'll just have to do that for the ease of the commentary. <laughs> this is hilarious. I love it. Oh, and he is beat. And they're back. Now, when the chaser is beat when in possession of a quaffle, they're oh, supposed to Peter drop it there and then. All right, Steel Fins now have bludger control. And, and it's a goal. That was a tackle. good tackle. Oh, and he's down. <laughs> Lumenek, things are heating up here in uh, pitch one in this first match of the day. So I believe the score stands at 20 all. Would you uh, verify yeah, that? I would yeah. confirm. Oh, and into the pick! Oh, and going back. Interception there. Oh, and he's running for Oh, and he's no, collected no and he's broken a tackle. No, Trying to break the next. Oh, oh, and that's a great oh. save. I didn't quite go for the hoop, but a great effort from that steel fin right there. Now oh, the refs getting involved. Oh, and he's awarded it. He's awarded it. Wow. 
even though it didn't go through the hoop. We'll have to maybe uh, get a replay on that. Oh, and there's a yellow card out. No penalty time because goal was good. No penalty time because goal was good. I'm not quite sure what that means. Oh, a high tackle by the uh, defender challenging the uh, steel pin uh, chaser there as he attempted on goal. So, uh, and play resumes with Keel Squirrels in possession now. I believe the score stands at 30 20 to the Steel Fins. Oh, there's some uh, discussion on the field. Steel Fins have bludger control. They're going for it. Oh, oh he's, he's beat. beat. He's beat. That was a great uh, bludger. And possession of the Quaffle has fallen. Oh, Steel Fins have it. The keeper, ha the keeper has it. And they're going for it. Yeah, so when the keeper gets the Quaffle and they're in their own uh, area, like by their hoops, the keeper's immune, so they can't be beat or tackled. Oh, and that's oh, a good interception going, there. He's going for it. From he's a lazy pass. And he's oh, and here he goes. Oh, he goes he's put the pass in. Oh, oh, and that chaser just oh. nearly not quite yet, though. Oh, a scoop back. and a throw and a oh, miss. Oh, that's a bad miss. I I finally got that comment, the Steel Fins have really good form and defense. Yeah, they're like they're uh, really keeping, keeping it tight. Yeah. Not giving them much uh, chance to get an open shot on the hoops. Yeah. Well, the Steel Fins are organized and we'll take a quick pause here. And the Steel Fins are on the attack here. Oh, nearly picked off by that squirrel. Oh, and that was a failed tackle. Ah, and that's a great shot on goal. Hoop scored. Ten points to the Steel Fins. What? No goal. The signal was no goal. Oh. I uh, retract that then. Did you get your headband yet? I got my headband, yeah. Oh, and that was a great run. No real tackle attempt on that man. He's able to run right round the end, straight into the end zone, and uh, secures the 10 points for Keel. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a old oh. tackle deep in the uh, steel fin half. He gets beat and has to return back to hoops to remount his broom. Not quite sure it's an Imbus 3000 or anything like that. Oh, and there's a troll in the... Oh, did he deflect that? He did. So that's a very uh, special thing we just witnessed there. When a chaser has control of the quaffle, they can uh, deflect bludgers with the quaffle. And the score is 30 all, I believe, the ref's just shouting out there. So that chaser managed to deflect the beat attempt and uh, get it through the hoop for the 10 points. Brooms are down. We'll uh, take a pause right here. So Keel have uh, had a player putting the simp in for double kicking, which is uh, not allowed, apparently. Oh, and that looks like a mess behind the steel fin goal. Brooms down again. Oh, a yellow card. Oh. This ref is taking. This ref is rough. Oh, that's two Keel players in the sim bin now. Oh. They're really going to be on the back foot here. They're really. They got four Cause... players in the pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two oh, down. Really now, this is a great opportunity for the Steel Fins to just, oh, just press the attack and hammer home. Oh, the Steel Fins have bludge control oh, too. Oh, they, they really they should be converting on these attempts around. now. They really want to make use of this number advantage. Really fumbling with the ball, though. Yeah, the uh, four squirrels are doing a stellar job yeah. of defending, though. These squirrels are amazing. They're not giving up any nuts. No. And the, and the squirrels are in possession. They should slow ball this and wait for their reinforcements, really, I'd have yeah. suggested. However, there is a rule about you have to press. press oh, no way. I don't believe wow. it. Wow. I don't quite believe wow. it. I just, wow. The 4v6 squirrels managed to score and Just successfully incredible. defend. Just That's incredible. a valiant, valiant drive by the uh, Kiel team there. That will take a quick break. Okay. So one of the Kiel players is back in play. And the second Kiel player returns, remounting at his own end. Bludge control is by way of the uh, Kiel squirrels. And they have control of the Quaffinal as well, taking back possession in the midfield. 
Now the slow ball and drive. Oh, and there's a long pass out to oh, the wing. That was Great reception. Oh, oh, and that's a bad miss. <laughs> Beautiful kills. But they're still in control. possession. Oh, there's a great tackle. Great effort. Up, but there's no bludgers. Forward. <laughs> and he's going with And him. he's hooped himself. I don't think getting your head through the hoop counts as 10 points. But if it did, that would have been a Beautiful. wonderful effort there. And we'll take a quick break. Oh, and the goal went in. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I don't know what's going on. Play was resumed and immediately they're, scored they're by ready. the... They're, they're, they're starting in their half. Kill chaser. Oh, the kill chase is taking them oh, down. That's a loose quaffle. Oh, oh. But and the steel pins the managed steel to retain possession. And they're passing it back. Oh, it's oh, loose ball. Bad, bad oh. pass. Oh, and, oh, and he's beat. And, he's beat. Oh, and the, the squirrels go back with it. And the squirrels oh, reclaim oh, possession. And There's a beater. Oh, and then and beat she and makes a successful beat on that ball carrier, ending the drive. And the out. Oh, and he's trying to take oh, him and that's a oh, rip of the ball there by that squirrel. That's rude. <laughs> and the steel fins have control of the quaffle, and they're running, they're running, they're running. Oh, and that's she tried, she tried her best. high. The bad beat. That's a bad miss. <laughs> and the steel fins are still going for it. They're still going, and she's going in for it. Oh, and she just near me. Oh, she got beat. She's beat. The keeper's bringing up the rear. Keeper. The keeper's bringing up the rear. What a Rambo effort! Oh, oh, go on. oh, oh a good tackle by the keel. Keeper there, saving the goal. A lot of uh, breaks out that tackle. And there's a troll in the dungeon, and it just goes short. Good defense by the Steel Fins there. Keel still on the attack. We'll have a quick score update with you. 60-30 to the squirrels. They got it in. I missed that, I do apologise, but the uh, squirrel right here. Resume play and uh, straight to goal. Scoring the 10 points, I believe. And they switched to and beaters and chasers and the squirrels are going. Oh, the Steel ball. Oh my god, it's coming to me. And their defense. I must say, the squirrels also have a pretty good defense. They're very aggressive. And he's beat. And the Steel Fields are still, they're still driving. Bludger control is with defense. Will they make and use of it? He's going for it. He's going for it. And it's. Ooh, no goal. I thought that was good, to be honest. No goal. It looked like it went off the upright, off the top of the hoop and in. Steel fins are running back for defense. They're running he's back for defense. Not she is off of her groom. Counter attack by the Keel Squirrels. Um, yeah, and I, oh, and he takes her down. And they're running for it. Oh! Ooh. Oh, and that looks like a broken bruise. That maybe. definitely sounded like it broke. Yeah, yeah, give that to me. R I P. And that was a back tackle in the back as well. Man, this ref is Oh, so now the steel fins are down a player. Let's see if the, uh, the squirrels, squirrels can dominate with the number advantage now. I would just like to comment on these two teams' names. It's very, very nice. They're quite um, different. They're not intimidating. No. Well, the squirrels certainly. Well, unless the you watch the Rick and Morty, yeah. those squirrels are pretty scary, man. Um, yeah, let's say that they're the scary kind of squirrels. Because they're playing quite well. I'm very impressed with their play. Oh, and that's a quick goal and the resume of the play there. And However, nine, that second game was very short, it seemed. He's straight back in. I think the uh, Simbin timer didn't pause with the pause of play. Oh, if they score, um, they go back on. Oh. Well, there we go. From the man himself. So the squirrel is able to convert with their player advantage. Alex, go ahead. 
and Steelfin's back in control of the Quaffle. Score stands at 80-30 to the Squirrels. So the Steelfin's really need to uh, score off this drive here. Oh, in defense, oh, it's just... Uh, they're a very aggressive team, I like it. Yeah, they're tackling quite deep, aren't they? Yeah, they're really, they're really on with the tackling. Oh, can the Steelfin break through the defense of the Squirrels? The Squirrels try and roll their mic. She's down, oh, oh. uploads a quaffle, but it's no good. So we've got Bruins down here. And it's a turnover. Resume play. And then, oh, this. <laughs> this keeper is in control Great of the pass ball. pass across the field to the and keeper. And she's for it, and she's... Broken a couple of tackles. Pass. Oh, oh that's a bad miss. And he missed, and the steel fan keeper is just going for it. And he's beat. He's beat. They're both beat. No? Both beat. Both beat. Both beat. Both beat. Both beat. All right. He's running back in front, and she's taking him down. Breaks a tackle, trucks oh, another, but he goes down himself. Down. And he's kept possession though, he's kept possession here. Now he can keep hold of the ball on the floor. And they, and Steel the Fins need a beater to come in and beat that man to make him drop possession. Oh, hard, they get a new one. Okay, there's another high tackle. Legal contact, steal over shoulder, second yellow. Man, and the same dude is Ruh -ruh. out again, number nine. And does the red card mean he's not allowed to return to play in this match? Yeah, he's not. But two, and then they have to say, you know, so be two minutes Ah. So they're going to be down to play for the next two minutes as well. And is that, does that play go back on if the squirrel score though? No. Okay. 13 minutes. 13 minutes in this game so far. And the snitch is released at 17, I believe. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. So snitch, here we are getting ready. You can see his uh, golden attire. But back to the action. Uh, we're going to take a pause here whilst they reset the hoops. Canada. Oh yeah, we haven't really introduced ourselves. Oh, okay. Oh, it is a goal. We should introduce ourselves and then add it in later. Like add it in yeah, we can do it at the end. Uh, anyway, we are recording this game here, so enough about us. Uh, the squirrels just secured another 10 points there. Following seekers in one minute. 15 minutes. Seekers are being called in one minute. And the score stands at 90 points to 30 to the squirrels. <laughs> Steel bins really need to make some uh, conversions on their possessions now to have any chance of uh, winning this game. So, just to let you all know, when the Seekers come out to chase the Snitch and the Snitch is released... Steel are going in for it. The Quaffle is free. The Quaffle is free. Squirrels picked up the Quaffle. They're right. Oh, oh and she dropped it. Illegal contact. Steel Fins are caught again. Tackling a keeper. Yeah, it seems like a missed call. Well, maybe not. I thought the keeper was out of the zone there. So. Alright, and she's playing for it into the box. Four minutes have been stopped. So the Steel Fins have two out, four players on pitch. Oh, so this how is uh, how the squirrels were before, and they managed to defend successfully. Will the Steel Fins be able to do the same? It's getting uh, late in the game now. A few tired faces out there on the field. And so, just to uh, carry on from what I was saying before, the Snitch is worth 30 points in uh, this version of Quidditch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And there's a troll in the dungeon, oh, and, and she receives the ball. Oh, but can she put it in? Oh. Can she do it? No. Just great cannot. effort and a great defense by the Steel Fins there, ganging up on her two on one, yes. keeping. They're, she go, they're going back and forth again, and they pass, and they beat, oh, it goes in. And the squirrels convert. Taking the score into triple digits now. Okay, oh, so that's gonna be a hundred. Yeah, there we go.
I've taken so long to so do things. <laughs> All right, the secrets are getting ready to go into play. So whoever gets the snitch gets 30 points. So the seeker is a, sorry, the snitch is a neutral player with no allegiance to either team. And uh, he to catch that beautiful tennis ball. But gets to fend off these two uh, seekers in the gold headbands. <laughs> Control. Uh, successful Steel defense fans. by the Steel Fins keeps the score at 100 to 30. Back. So Steel Fins pressing up field inch by inch. Oh! And he's dropped his broom! That means he must release the ball and the squirrels couldn't take possession. Oh, he's given the possession away. Oh, that's a uh, potentially a costly error by that steal in there. They really need to convert these, and that's a silly mistake to have made. I think the Seekers are about to be released. And the snitch is on pitch. I repeat, the snitch is on pitch. Five, four, three, two, one. Seekers are in play. Two. Oh. <laughs> two. 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 <laughs> Alright, I take it back. I take it back. Seekers, Seekers are on play. They're going for it. And so this, uh... He looks, he looks ready. This Keel Seeker is wanting to end the game right here. That and he's going for it. I mean, the Keel Seeker's got quite, a, quite the height on the... And players pause to hit. We'll take a quick break as well. Oh, actually, what are your thoughts on the game so far? It's intense. It's very intense. Um, I'm kind of semi-rooting for the Keels right now. They've played a great game. Yeah. Very defensive. I think they're very in a deserved lead, aren't they? Yeah. They're playing clean aggressive too, where the Steel Fins have a lot of illegal tackles. Yeah. There's been fouls on uh, both sides of the field, though, from both teams, rather. Both teams are having some sim bins. And players are about to resume. Back to the action. And in comes the seeker for the snitch, and he's chasing him down. Man, that snitch and seeker can run. Oh, and the seeker's down. And the other seeker is coming down. And he's just going for it. Steel pins. I mean, yes, the steel pins finally score after quite a lull in the score attempt. But here come the squirrels, and they put it right back down their throats. Brooms down. down. We'll take a quick break here. And play has resumed. And the Steel Fins are back in possession. So the score stands at 110 to 40. Steel Fins still in possession. They really need to convert on this. And it's a fumbled pass, but he's recovered. Driving on goal, the keeper's making a good tackle, and the keeper rips and recovers the ball. Brooms are down. Oh, but the keeper has been sent off for that. Tackle from behind is the signal from the ref. Yellow carded. Give it to Chalina. Give it to Chalina. We'll take a quick break here until play resumes. The squirrels are in the box. I think he was beat just before he managed to get the ball away. They're going back for it. The seekers are going in. Oh, and he, oh, he dismounted. Diving challenge on the snitch. They're both dismounted. The snitch is free. I repeat, the snitch gets to run free. And the seeker's coming back for him. He's sneaking up behind. The steel fin seeker is sneaking up behind. And the broom stays between his legs. He's beat. He looks mighty frustrated. He really Steel wants to win this game. He's going in for it. He's going and he's, di he's diving. He's putting his head down. He's going for it. That look good and the points have been added. Another great run by that squirrel. I must say, the seeker and the snitch. Oh, and the snitch has been caught. 
Yes, no, I think uh, Seek is still in play. Okay, so I'm uh, Snitch is still in play. Snitch is doing a fantastic job. I did not think he's going to last this one. Snitch is, is resumed play. They got a beater on the Snitch, I repeat. The Steel Fins have a beater Ooh. on the pitch. And she, now she's beat, now that, she's down. Like a collision. Uh, the Steel Fins have Oh, this is, it's going to be close, I'm telling you. Oh, steel fins are beat. Squirrels are going back into the zoo, and the stitch has been caught. Was it stitch looks ready to feed it. I think that was a good catch by Keo. We'll wait for the confirmation. And I'll take it. If the, the squirrels get this, they win the game. For the snitch ref's decision. It all looked fine to me. What did you make of it? Yeah, I thought it was great. Oh, it was that was a great game. It looked good from the sideline. We'll see what the refs say. The score stands at 120 to 40 to the Keel Squirrels. Catch is good! And the catch is good. And the Squirrels win. This first game of the day. And that is the game. Final score 150 40. Well, do. Am I going to put four after Yeah, you, you notes on the game. Final yeah. thoughts. Canada, go Canada. Go Canada. So this is Brittany yeah. and this is Greg. Yo. We have successfully commentated this game. Anybody else need to post the